Okay, this is 2012, paper 2, question 1. You're given the coordinates of the vertices of a quadrilateral, and you have to describe, using coordinate geometry, uh, how you determine whether that quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Your hints for this question are the properties of parallelograms. Okay, so the first property of parallelograms is that opposite sides are equal in length. So what I mean is that this length AB is equal to the length DC, and the length BC is equal to the length AD. Number two, opposite sides are parallel. So if we take a look at our parallelogram again, I mean that this side AB here is parallel to this side CD, and this side BC is parallel to AD. Thirdly, opposite angles are equal in measure. So again in our diagram what I mean is this angle here, DAB, is the same in measure as this angle here, DCB, and this angle ABC is equal to the angle ADC. The last point is that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So if this is our parallelogram again, the diagonals are the lines from A to C, and the lines from B to D. When I say they bisect each other, what I mean is the distance from A to the center point is equal to the distance from the center point to C, and the distance from B to the center point is equal to the distance from the center point to D. So with method one, I'm gonna tackle the first property of parallelograms that we have here. The opposite sides are equal in length. So naturally, to prove that, we find out what those lengths are. So we find the lengths of AB, BC, CD and AD. Notice that I'm not getting the lengths of AC and BD. Those are the diagonals and they won't have an effect on this property of parallelograms. So uh, to find the, all those lengths I'm just going to have to use the distance formula which is on page 18 of your formula and tables book. So now having found those lengths with this distance formula here now I know that if I can prove that this length AB, this length here, is equal to the length CD, the opposite length here, and it's very important that you include the word and here because if only one of these is true you don't necessarily have a parallelogram. So if this is also true that the line BC has the same length as AD, BC has the same length as AD, then ABCD is a parallelogram by that first property of parallelograms that we discussed earlier. So for my second method, again, I'm just going to use the second property of parallelograms, which we have here, that opposite sides are parallel. So to prove that two sides are parallel, we're going to need to find their slopes. So we find the slopes of these four sides of the parallelogram using the slope formula, which again is just on page 18 of your formula and tables book. We're going to ignore the diagonals again. They won't really be useful here for this particular property of parallelograms. So my qualifying factor here is that if the slope of this side is equal to the slope of this side, again, just being careful to compare opposite sides of the parallelogram. Uh, so if those two sides are have equal slope, and, again, the word and being very important there, that if the slope of this side, this side here, is equal to the slope of this side, uh, and if both of those are true, then you have a parallelogram. For the third method, it's easy to think that I'm just going to use the third property here, that opposite angles are equal in measure. But in fact, when you're using coordinate geometry rules to measure those angles, you're going to have to measure all the side lengths and start using sine rules and cosine rules. And by that stage, we could have just used method one. So in fact, I'm going to use the fourth property here of parallelograms that the diagonals bisect each other. So for the third method, I'm actually going to use a side effect of this property that if the diagonals bisect each other, so that these two lengths are the same and these two lengths are the same, then those two diagonal lines have the same midpoint. So here's the method that you find the midpoint of those two diagonal lines, AC and BD. Uh, use this formula here, which again is just on page 18 of the Formula and Tables book qualifying statement then is just that if the midpoints are equal then ABCD is a parallelogram. Okay here's part B of the question we have to use one of those methods on four points that they're giving us and we have to determine if those four points form a parallelogram. So here's my hint for this question 
draw it out. Just make sure you know which points are forming which sides and which diagonals. So this is a rough diagram of what's going on. I'm calling point A this point down here in the bottom left. This is B, this is C, the 8, 7, and D is the minus 17, 10. And th the reason I do this is just to be sure that I'm not comparing, say, the points AC and not taking them as being one side of the parallelogram or not taking the line BD as being one side of the parallelogram. So the method I decided to use was method 3 to find the midpoint of the two diagonals. Uh, the reason I didn't choose method 1 is that that's going to take four equations. If I use method 2, the slope one, again that's going to be four equations. But with the third method it's only going to take two. So I'm saving myself a couple of minutes in the exam. So firstly, I'm just going to try and find the midpoint of the diagonal AC. That's AC. So again, just taking the formula right out of the book, it's going to be 8 minus 4. That's the x coordinate. It's the 8 and the minus 4 divided by 2. And the 7 minus 2 divided by 2. Again, it's the 7 and the minus 2 divided by 2, which is going to give me 2, 2.5. So that's the midpoint of AC. So naturally now I have to find the midpoint of the other diagonal, that's BD. So for this one I'm going to take the x-coordinate from D, minus 17, the x-coordinate from B, which is 21 there, add them together, divide by 2, and the y-coordinate is going to be given by the 10 and the minus 5, so that's 10 from D and minus 5 from B, and divide it by 2, and follow that through and you get 2 and 2.5. Lastly then, just make a note that those points form a parallelogram. The question gives you a quadrilateral with those vertices and asks you, is it a parallelogram? Therefore the answer to the question is, yes, those points form a parallelogram, or else no, that quadrilateral is not a parallelogram.